Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and another weekly Sainsbury's food shop today. It's just been delivered. We've got a slightly different setup here today as husband's cooking his dinner. So we're using the dining table. It's the last shop before payday. So it's a little bit less than we'd normally get. Although seeing it on the dining table looks like there's quite a bit. Anywho, let's go on. So I got the four pack of the smooth orange juice. My husband has a glass of this every morning. So it's actually cheaper to buy a pack of four. It's £3.50 for the four. Excuse the noise, that's a husband trying to do his cooking. Um, so it's £3.50 for a pack of four. So I think you end up saving about 50p rather than buying them individually. He always goes through them. We've got space, so we might as well get those. I thought I'd try this raspberry and yogurt crisp um, cereal. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but it looks quite nice and it was only pound fifty. I'm not really much of a cereal person, but I need to start having something other than Pop-Tarts and toast for breakfast. So I thought I'd give that a go. The cheap and cheerful cheese and tomato pizza, which does my little one very nicely. This is only 45p, I believe. We cook it all in one go and she'll have half one day and then half the next day for lunch or something like that. Running out of Diet Pepsis, so we've got a pack of 12. This is, I think, four pounds, so it's really good value. That lasts us a very long time. Again, sometimes you need to buy more to save more money. If you're interested in any tips and tricks on saving money, then please do check out my videos, which should be linked under my videos. Do just have a look and see how we save money and how we do our shopping. Tin of the chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna to do a chili this week. So chopped tomatoes and kidney beans is a must. And then I've got all the different um, herbs and spices and things like that to add to it. Green pesto. I did buy the lighter one the last few times, but I just didn't like the taste. So we've gone back to this one and it tastes a little bit better. But to be honest, I don't think Sainsbury's does the best pesto. I'm sorry, don't come at me. Some sponge scourers, we needed some of those. Some antibacterial cleansing wipes, although this was a pound, I should really check. It's got 40 wipes, it's not massive. And you can get these from like Aldi, Lidl and Pound Shop and you get about twice as much. So I won't be doing that again. Some of these for my little one, she loves these. Some Rice Krispies chocolatey squares, they were on offer for a pound. Last week they substituted them for the caramel and chocolate ones. I didn't like those. So if they would have sent them today, I would have sent them back. Let me know. Do you like the caramel ones? I just, I couldn't get on with them. The fresh gnocchi. Because I love doing that gnocchi and cream cheese and spinach and mushrooms. It's really nice. You should check out the... The, I can't think of my words. The video by Kerry Welkdale. That's the one. She done one of those and we do that sort of every other week now. A small cucumber portion. Some white pitters. They're Aldi price match. Wholemeal pitters. Aldi price match 35p. Finally received the free from um, Easter egg. Although it's sort of out, of out of shape and not quite where it should be. I ordered this the week before last and they substituted it for a cream egg one <laughs> my sister-in-law is um she has different intolerances so she couldn't have that so we sent it back and then last week it just didn't arrive at all and they charged us for it so that was annoying a huge pack of the savory crackers i'm guessing these are going to be very similar to ritz i've not tried them before but i thought i'd give them a go has anybody tried these before some more weed sticks my husband was running out the mature cheddar cathedral city one this is my favorite cheese am i the only one i mean we do try the other brands but this was on offer this time and i had a voucher as well for some extra money off of this cheese so i thought i'd, I'd treat ourselves if we're having some fajitas that would be nice corn peppered steaks that will go with the pesto some broccoli mushrooms and pasta my husband's favorite not some sour cream that'll go with the fajitas 
my husband requested a Cornish pasty, so he will probably have that Sunday for tea. Some pork cocktail sausages, these were on offer for a pound, so they'll be good for my little one's lunches. Husband's pitta, uh, not pitta, hummus for his pitters, 69p, again it's Aldi price match. Some sour cream and chive dip. The lighter soft cheese, mushrooms, chicken for the fajitas, some wafers for the little one, some junior paracetamol for the little one. When I went to the doctors before for my little one, the doctor told us off and said, never use cowpole. She said, buying the um, shop's own brands of them is always just as good. So if the doctors told me that, then <laughs> I'm never buying cowpole again, so that's a little, <laughs> little um, cheeky tip there for you as well. Lots of milks. We've got the normal semi-skimmed, the Cravendale for the man upstairs, the whole milk, and then two little ones. They were substituted because I did order um, a two pint and they just gave us it like that, which is fine. The Alpro coconut milk. Again, I said I'm not really into cereal, so I thought I'd give this a go. Coconut milk with that crispy cereal to see if I like it. Maybe it'll give it a nice little taste, I'm not sure. The Alpro milk was on offer for a pound, so, you know, I think that was about half price, something like that. So, now's the time to try it, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully I like it. Bagels, again, on offer for a pound each, so you won't see these in the next couple of weeks because they won't be on offer keep one out freeze the other one again that's in my little um tips video about saving money king's meal 50 50 some cheese and garlic flatbread this was on offer and i thought that might be quite nice either with the chili or the gnocchi that i do that'll go down nicely with anything or the pasta to be honest potato waffles my husband's already started cooking he's taking them out Again, waffles and the Cornish pasty he's been asking for for a while. So we've got those. A few carrots there, some baking potatoes, some very green bananas. Look at them compared to the broccoli. They're really green. And then lastly, the kettle chips. So on Sunday, you can't see a Sunday roast meat here. We're going to have some sausages from the freezer and we're going to have some sausages and mash. So this is the overall of everything we got here. Like I said, it's the week before payday. So it's always a little bit less. So next week you'll have a bigger shop to look forward to. Although I am trying to be a little bit more um, better with what we spend. <laughs> so maybe next week might not be as big. We'll see. We'll, I'm just trying not to spend too much. And the easiest way to do that is cut down on your food shop. If you have any tips and tricks on how to save some money or what bits I should try from Sainsbury's, then please do let me know. But for now, thank you very, very, very much for watching this. Give it a uh, thumbs up if you like it. Do hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And I hope you all take care and keep safe. Bye.